Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here. In this quick video, I'm just going to show you one thing that I've been using a lot lately when it comes to slow motion video in Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is going to help you if you shoot in a bunch of different um, frames per second. So maybe you have a clip that was shot in 30, maybe you have a clip that was shot in 120 or 240 or something like that. And you want them all to basically match uh, the final output of your video. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project here. And I'm just going to name it Timing. And uh, the thing I'm going to pay attention to here is my frames per second, my rate. And I'm going to set my rate at 24 frames per second. So whenever I export this video, it's going to be at 24 frames per second. No matter what, uh, what video clips I put in here, whatever they were shot on, my final output is going to be 24 frames a second. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And here I'm just going to drag in a video clip that I want to use. And I'm going to put it right there. And if I play this, this is what it looks like here. And this clip was shot at 60 frames per second. You can see right here under the information inspector here, we have the 60p. So that stands for 60 frames per second. And so what we want to do is slow this down uh, and make it a slow-mo video, but we want it to match the final output. So uh, you can do the quick math in your head and do all this kind of stuff. And sometimes if you're shooting at uh, even rates per second, so maybe you have a, uh, a final output of a 30 frames per second and you shot it at 60, it's just as easy as having the speed, so de uh, so decreasing it by half, and you have um, you, you know your final output. But if you have some tricky clips that you want to automatically uh, time, there's actually a very cool option for that. So click on the video clip, go over here to your speed controls, and you're going to see where it says automatic speed. And when you click that, it's going to see it's going to basically read the clip, see what frames per second it was shot in match it to your project speed per second, your rate, and slow it down appropriately. So it slowed it down to 40%. So this is what it looks like when it was slowed down to 40%. So now this clip matches your final output. So, uh, you know, again, if we had a, a clip that was shot on uh, really, really slow-mo at 120 frames per second, we can use that same, um, same adjustment and it will match it to our uh, project output and it, it, it's a really quick time saver if you want to go ahead and have everything matched uh, the final output just click the automatic speed and it will do all the uh, calculations for you You don't have to do any uh, you know long-handed math or anything to figure out what rate you should have your clips at so uh, thank you for joining me in this video head on over to lustlounge.com we got a bunch of cool stuff over there link in the description for more information more tutorials all kinds of fun stuff and i'll see you in the next one